Hello, my name is Hojen. Today, I want to show you gel electrophoresis experiment with my DIY gel electrophoresis kit. The apparatus and material that we need is measuring spoon, two short copper wire, a erratic cooker, a spoon, a DIY electrophoresis gel box, a DIY gel mold, a DIY gel comb, a dropper, a 240 volt AC to 24 volt DC transformer with a pair of alligator clip, baking soda, 200 ml of water, two color food dry, and agar agar powder. Before I start the experiment, allow me to explain a little bit about gel reactor process. Gel electrophoresis is a laboratory method used to separate mixture of DNA, RNA or proteins according to molecule size. During the gel electrophoresis, the molecules to be separated are pushed by an electric field through a gel that contains more pores. If the size of DNA molecule is small, the speed of molecule travel through the gel will be fast. However, if the size of DNA molecule is big, the speed of molecule travel to the gel will be slow. In this video, I will replace the DNA sample with a primary color which is red dye and a secondary color which is green dye. Other color, I will put the list under this video description, so don't worry. Without wasting time, let's start the experiment. Firstly, we have to add half teaspoon of baking soda to 200 ml of water and stir it so the baking soda will completely dissolve in water. Then we have to prepare 1% agar gel with 100 ml of buffer solution with a quarter teaspoon of agar agar powder. Now turn on the erratic cooker and using a spoon to stir the mixture. After the agar mixture boil, we turn off the erratic cooker and let it cool down before transfer to the erector for six gel box. After the agar solution cooled down but still in solution, I use a spoon to transfer the agar solution to the mold. Then place the DIY gel comb at the top of the gel and wait it until the gel is completely solid. While waiting the gel turn solid, we can now bring the transformer to the table and place the copper wire to the electrophoresis gel box that I already made four hole at here. So the copper wire should be like this. This one and this one. This one, the upper one will work as the negative and this one will be the positive then later after the gel is completely turned solid we will, we will put it in here the middle part after the gel is completely turned solid we have to carefully take the gel comb out from the mold So you can see there's two places we put the dye later. So I will take out the whole gel from the mold and place it to the electric process gel box. When you transfer the agar gel, the place that we insert the comb should be at the top side which is the negative part. Then we are using the spoon to transfer the buffer solution to cover just above the agar. After adding the buffer solution to the electrophoresis gel box, now we can move the gel box near to the transformer and ready to add the dye. Now we have red dye, green dye, dropper, 
to transfer the dye, water and tissue to clean the dropper. So first I will transfer the red dye to the first line, then second line I will add the green dye. So first we suck the red dye first, then let the red dye go to here so we can clean the mouth of the dropper. Then let it down a little bit and go to the first land and carefully press the die press the dropper so this step we have to be very careful to prevent the color go to the second land now suck the green color die and let it like go to the upside like red one and clean it clean the mouth then go down a little bit then put it put the dropper mouth into the second lens and press the dropper now we have a very clean transfer after this, we can continue by connect the red cable and black cable to the inner adapter. Now, we connect the black alligator clip to the upper copper wire and clip the red alligator clip to the bottom copper wire. Then, I will turn on the transformer. After you turn on the transformer and you can see the copper wire at the negative will produce bubble that means your circuit is running As I mentioned earlier, the gel reactor process involves an theoretical field and the food dye are negatively charged molecule so they will pull toward the positively charged end of the gel After 1 hour and 15 minutes, I turn off the transformer, the copper is oxidized and cut the buffer solution turn blue color. So don't worry, now I will remove the buffer solution so we can observe the agar gel. This is our agar gel look like after I remove the buffer solution. As you can see, different color food dye separate into different color after gel electrophoresis. This result is similar to the DNA sample at the end of the electrophoresis. This is because every DNA molecule has different sizes. This is the view from bottom of the agar gel. As you can see, the first line, the red color dye, does not separate any color because this is primary color. And at the second line, you can see the green food dye already separate and a little blue color at here. And here is the yellow color. That's all for today's video. If you like this video, please give me a like. Thanks for watching and bye bye.